Hey everyone, as you all have likely heard, we finally did it, and we finally got LEGO to produce the set that we have been asking for for years, ever since it was first started by Ryan. The 501st Battle Pack is finally going to be a reality, as of August 1st, this year, 2020. So, I decided, even though I'm a little bit late on this, I want to go ahead and sort of give my thoughts on what I think about the set and uh, what I think it's going to be like in the consumer market and just sort of spread the excitement a little bit. So yeah, of course the set retails for $30. I mean, you just had to expect like it was going to make it twice as expensive as a normal battle pack, but uh, that's not really a big complaint for me for the fact of what you're getting. You're getting two full-size battle pack vehicles as well as six minifigures if you want to count the battle droids, that is. Um, and I really, I really like what they did, no, having no named figures in there. Uh, it, it is a little expensive though, as I said, but always keep an eye out for the secondhand consumer market, places like Walmart, Target. Uh, I know Walmart kind of sells their, their $30 sets in the $20 to $25 range, so it's definitely going to be way cheaper than what it likely is going to release for, so it's a good time to uh, save up a little bit and stack up on uh, quite a few of those because it will be cheaper than that $30 price point in quite a few months after it's released. The only issue I have with the set itself is that the figure printing seems just a little bit off. Not so much on the the actual Jet Trooper, but the, the uh, 501st Trooper themselves. It seems like it's almost like a, a weird, one of the like Chinese weapon knockoffs you can find for cheap on eBay that just seems a little off. You, you can just see that it's it's a touch fake and I'm not saying that this is I'm just saying that it kind of reminds me of that a little bit there's no blueprinting on the arms for example I'm not sure how I feel about that so the only thing that I my only critique as of now before I have the set in hand is that the printing looks a little bit off and maybe that'll change when we get more pictures and you can actually have the set in hand but as of now I, I really like the set I'm so glad they did this they couldn't have done a better job with their selection I just wish they would have used the older mold and prints for the 501st from the episode 3 and not... It seems like what they've done is made a new new print there on the... It almost looks too scrunched to me, but... I don't really want to gripe. I want to, I want to share my excitement over this because this is really awesome to know that when fans want a set, it, it can be made possible. And again, a huge thank you to you guys for making that possible. And a huge thank you to Ryan for starting the whole hashtag we want a 501st movement. But uh, yeah, it's finally reality, guys. So um, I'm really excited for that. And I will be talking to you again very soon. So have a nice day. And as always, may the force be with you.